It's a beautiful place and it is the mecca of surfing. We're back at the Vans World Cup of Surfing. We're into heat number eight, round number three with Stu Kennedy, Nathan Florence, Alex Ribeiro, and Makai McNamara Kaipuguero, along with Peter Mel for the It's races. always within the context of each heat, correct Pete? Exactly. Well, that was weird. That was um, a little bit weird, seeing that Nathan Florence has a four by his name, Red Stu Kennedy has a three by his name, meaning Stu was ahead of priority. And that might be good news for Makai McNamara, who's up and riding on his first wave. He's going to stick to some cool surfing with a beautiful down carve, another hook, and rides through that wave nicely, kicking on the channel right by our water camera. Take a look at what happened here. Well, I, Nathan just decided I'm going. And uh, I don't know if he even knew that Stu was on that one. And, and you know, with the interference, quote unquote, interference rules, we watched first Makai McNamara on a much bigger wave, drives through that first turn. And then it's, again, look how steep that section is on the inside ball. Holds the speed and kicks out in the channel. So a nice completed ride from Makai McNamara. But look at the size of that one there. Drives into this first. Holds that rail down and then free falls, knowing that's going to give him one more opportunity. He had to get down the line. What's the interval today? What are, we, what are we looking at? 14 seconds. 14 Round. seconds. We were 17 yesterday. We're 14 today. Here we go. Alex Ribeiro. Of course, that's an average. You know, taken by a buoy over an yeah. hour period. And it just averages out to that average wave period. And it felt like that Stewart could even make that wave. I don't know. Stewart surfs pretty fast, but we're going <laughs> to leave that up to the judges. Here we go. <laughs> Makai McNamara, he's opened up with a 5.83 and the lead. He's going to back up that 5.83 right now. North Shore born and bred Makai McNamara is going to be looking the goods. Nathan Florence, another North Shore born and bred, and he finds a barrel, but no exit. At that time in the heat, uh, Red had third priority, Blue had fourth priority. Uh, Red's got that wave, it's his to take and do what he wants with. Blue drops in on him and it's a straight up priority interference. So a, a priority interference has been deemed against Nathan Florence. That's correct. Thank you for the explanation. Uh, Rich, and what happens with that uh, priority interference? What's the penalty for that? Well, the a priority interference makes it really hard to get through a heat because you only get scored on your best wave. So instead of scoring half of your second best wave you can only be scored on one and uh it's, it's out of 20. priority interference against nathan florence here's Mackay. a look at uh Mackay up live yeah Mackay just up and out he is our heat leader the big heat of course for michael february but also the youngster cody young trying to establish himself in that you know those qs 10,000s going forward i mean he's been doing very well getting up the rankings live action with Nathan Florence. You know, Cody Young was a prime example of somebody who was able to utilize that junior ranking. Some preferential seeding into that heat, and it's a big opportunity for Josh Moniz. Stu Kennedy in the red jersey with a nice carve off the top. Stu eases off the bottom. Another beautiful carve with a little bit of release. Cuts back into the white water as the, the wave hits the channel. Stu can go into second place. Yeah, a big event for him as well. I mean, as we look at Nathan Fletcher, I'm sorry, Nathan Florence. <laughs> uh, they seem, you know, NF. I saw a big error of Nathan Florence, re or Nathan Fletcher earlier, so <laughs> I'm confusing him up. But, uh, yeah, he's going to be in a tough situation being that he's got this interference. As you look at Stuart Kennedy here, third wave, you know, he's riding some equipment that's very unique to, uh, to Stuart. You know, those Tomo designs are always going to have unique bottoms to them. Yeah. You can really delve into the World Surf League if you look at the WSL rulebook, if you're an ultra fan, which we're happy to have you joining us here. Just Alex send your inquiries into Kaipo Guerrero. <laughs> Alex Rivera with a nice snap off the top there. Looking for a 3.44 to move into second place. Makai McNamara, our heat leader. And uh, just kicking out of that wave as didn't have an opportunity for some open face. Ooh, this looks like a clean one. Nathan Florence, big barrel for 10. Let's see if he can do it. He's in the barrel. He's traveling. One more section for Florence. Oh, man. It's too bad there was that 
crease right in the middle of the wave and just flatten that wave out. But just the he works beast. at it. He works at it a lot. And see that first section, beautiful. And then he tries to pull up into the second section, but there was really no exit. And, you know, even Nathan Florence, as strong as he is, I don't think he could have gotten through that. As we watch Alex Hubera on the backhand, already getting through a heat in this event. So he'd be carrying some of that confidence. In that backhand, gives the ability to go straight up. You know, that one there didn't quite get that vertical approach, more around, what, 10.30, 11 o'clock on the clock. This has been an early start from Makai McNamara and an interference given to Nathan Florence. Unfortunately, a priority interference, which means he receives a full penalty of one wave. Best wave of the heat right here, 5.83. Good wave choice from Makai. Surfed it solid, kicks out in the channel, and he has the lead. Was able to back it up quickly with a 2.67. Of course, at this point, he's going to need to try and improve on that 2.67 to keep himself comfortably out front. One good wave from Stuart Kennedy, a 4.83. And he's holding on to a 0.6 as his backup, so he needs another wave as well because that opens the door even for a guy like Nathan Florence. Who More towards the channel. Here we go, Stu Kennedy. Important wave for Stu. A little carve. He's going to have to bang this closeout section. Decides to ease a cutback and bank off the Whitewater backhand style. A little Whitewater climb there. Thinks he's done enough. All of a sudden, he's going to get himself double digits which puts Nathan out of it. Let's see again here. Pretty deep on that first section, so he has to wait to get to that open face as it flattens up into deeper water, and that's a bit of a bummer because it really never steepened up for him. So he didn't have any critical sections, and that will reflect in the score. Definitely better than the .6. Ribeiro spinning around, taking a look at this, and Makai McNamara, who has first priority, is gonna take the wave. Double pump off the bottom for Makai, pulls into the barrel and comes out. Makai wants more. He's not going to get more, any more on that wave. However, he's going to look to better his 2.67. Here's Alex Guerrero, important wave for Alex. Snaps off the top there. Carves through a frothy face. Hangs on through some jumbled water and exits into the channel. That's some math to do now. Stuart Kennedy, it has to be over the 5.29. Let's take a look here at Makai. Kick stalls underneath. Wasn't the uh, biggest of barrels, but clean exit. Looks for that inside. Doesn't happen. We haven't seen anybody beach one yet, huh? Nope. Uh, Nate uh, got this way while we were going through some of those replays. Nate Florence. Well, was it enough? I mean, he did come out of the barrel. Here it is, and a little barrel. One of the nicer barrels we've seen in this heat, for sure. 5.83 5 for Nathan Florence, not enough for him to advance, and a 4.33 for Alex Ribeiro. Alex, out of competition. Nathan, out of competition. Makai and Stu move on. We'll be back with more from Sunset Beach at the Vans World Cup.